Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Echoes of Mana video. Sorry that I haven't made videos in a while for this game. Just been, you know, sick and kind of dragging me down a little bit. So, with that out of the way, I, I, don't, I know I missed the Halloween one, the Halloween banner, and apparently it went away very fast. Uh, so I can't even review that for you, so I apologize for that. But anyways, let's talk about this one. So we got Fuji. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. And Randy, who's a whip user. I believe whips are a new addition to this game, unless they're just reskins of something else. Um, let's look at... Let's look at Undertaking Fate Fuji first. I was really impressed by this ST here. Restore HP for all active allies. So that's for the ones that are currently out. 100% uh, well this is, I'm assuming this is when it says get upgraded. Because they, they always show for this display they always show it max um, awake, awakening and stuff so you need some dupes for a lot of these passives here but I'm still going to read them. Cure all status ailments uh, for all active allies as well because there's no break here. It's, it's all the same effect. So you're curing all status ailments for all active allies which is insanely broken. On an, and, and she gets an additional when you switch out her tech tag. You get an ST effect, ST gauge, boost rate 30%, and ST, uh, HP restore amount 25%. That's insane. That, that ST is quite good. In, on paper, let's let's look and see what happens and uh, what it looks like on in the actual trial battle. But very nice. C tier wounds, and it gives you some 10% of max HP um, every two seconds, 20 seconds. Not too bad. So you're getting. Uh, it's late at night. I can't do that, but it's it's quite a bit of HP, and you also it's an AOE. Uh, it's a lot less, but you're restoring also. Your wow, this is very effective. This is this is very. This, she's a very good healer. To be fair, there really aren't very many good healers. There's only just okay ones, but this one is definitely the first good healer. I would say there's there's some good there, there's some okay ones, but like like I said, there's just okay ones. But this one's definitely the uh, the. The higher echelon of healer, for sure. And active allies, you also get a damage increase for all active allies. So she's not only a healer, she's a buffer. Very nice. She also has for herself some damage reduction if you get some dupes into her. And if you go all the way, you get some luck and things like that. So it's quite nice. Quite nice. Remember guys, I don't review, I don't give the score until I test them out, but... This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good so far. I've never given a huge score in this game before, but this one might be looking pretty good so far. And then we have Friendly Force. Randy, why is it called Friendly Force? What's so friendly about it? What's friendly about being forceful? I'm not sure, but we'll find out. And Self and Paired Alley get 500 flat STR strength for 15 seconds. Deal some whip damage. And then the tech tag is just the critical damage, just everything else. However, this what, what separates most from this guy is that he actually has a con debuff for a target. Very nice. I'm assuming this is a linear ability or only for one enemy, but still very good. A 35% con debuff. Very nice. And also, with a self-impaired ally, he gets a 20% 20, 20 light damage boost. And obviously, you want to be paired with an, a light ally. Maybe even with this... With this character, the the other the other one, Fuji, maybe you have them two together, so you can get that, and then you get critical damage ten percent. Whoa, that's actually quite good. And then when HP is fifty percent or higher, you get twelve percent damage increase, and you get ten percent damage reduction. That's quite good. All right, so let's look at the memory gem here. MP cost reduction thirty percent, very nice, and ST gauge twenty percent. Every five seconds and continuous. Very nice. Very nice card. Let's get the uh, stats here. It's balanced. Okay, this is a very good card. They definitely went out all out on this banner. They definitely went out all out on this banner. I will say, I'm going to give this card a 9 out of 10 for sure, easily. Because the stats are flat. I mean, the stats are equal for, for strength and intelligence. So you can use it for either side. Very nice card. Uh, very nice memory gem. I keep saying card. They look like cards. Anyways. Let's look at the in-game battle uh, for these two characters. All right, so let's look at our normal attack. Uh, 
Yeah, definitely not a very good normal attack. You definitely would not be doing that. Uh, for sure, 100% don't do that. Very nice uh, damage boost, though. Very nice. And let's see what the effect, how, how easy it would be to use this. Oh, it's an, yeah, it's an area effect as well, of course. But if you're far away from your ally for some reason, you know, some bosses have, like, push away moves and stuff like that. Uh, very good. Very good. And let's look at the ST here. Yeah, she's definitely very good. The normal attack is not going to take any points off of because you're probably not going to be ever using it. That's why it's that's why it's so like ridiculous is because you probably would never use it other unless you need MP. I think I think honestly, I, I I'm feeling I'm feeling like she's going to be the first unit that's going to be getting a ten out of ten by me. Like I can't I can't say that the normal attack is good. I mean, I guess you could say that she's not going to be dealing any damage, but she's a healer and a buffer. She's not supposed to be dealing damage. So I'm going to give her a ten out of ten. That's the first unit in this game currently that is getting a 10 out of 10 for sure. Now let's look at Randy! Okay, let's look at his uh, buff here. Not too bad. And uh, I wish I could... I wish... You know, I, I wish they would... Uh... Okay, so actually, yeah, that's just like a lot of other ones. Where it's... Even though it says target, you can... It's like a line. Which is very good. It affects multiple enemies, so it's not just one enemy. Very nice. Okay, normal attack. Combo. Not too bad. And let's look at the ST here. This is what usually makes or breaks the unit. It's alright. I mean, let's look at it. Let's, let's take it another chance. Let's get one more chance. Let's do it more. Yeah, it's pretty good damage. It has actually pretty good damage, yeah. Uh, you get, remember, you get... What was that? What did I just do with that? Oh. This is interesting. I never- maybe I never- I don't know. Yeah, this, this is actually pretty good. H holding off enemies and stuff a little bit. It's, it doesn't knock them back completely, but it will- it does a little bit of damage. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna give him an 8.5 out of 10. I think he's very good- I think, I'm assuming he's gonna be a very strong damage dealer. And very nice to combo with her. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for her. I'm going to go ahead and try to get her. Maybe I will be able to get her. I'm not sure. I have some crystals, but not a whole lot. So let us see once again if I can uh, maybe get her in this, summon, in this little summon session here for you guys. If I can just get one of her, that would be fine by me. If I can get any... This is not going to benefit me at all because there are no crystals in here, like rainbow crystals, sadly. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. One of them actually changed to yellow, but they didn't change again, sadly. I was like, whoa, it changed. And nothing nothing else happened, sadly. Nothing here again. Okay, I, I'm feeling this is not going to be very lucky, sadly. Might as well try until we get to the fourth the four step, right? Might as well try. Oh, there actually is a... There's actually a uh, unit in there. I believe that's a unit. The larger flower is the memory gem, if I remember correctly. So actually, it will be a four star in here, but will it actually be on banner? That's well. I mean, there's two. I mean, there's there's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it could be her. Maybe it could not be. Oh yeah! Let's get it. Let's get it. We got her. We got lucky. We got super lucky with that. Might as well just do the free pull. Let's do the free pull. But yeah, we got her, dude. That's that's like that's like YouTube like video luck or something. I don't know, dude. Almost every time I do pull videos or like do like a pull at the end of the video, I always get the unpending unit. Sometimes Most, a, a, a large majority of the time, large majority of the time, not always. Let's just enjoy the free pull while what whatever it may be and it's nothing. But that's all right. That's all right. So we got it, guys. We got her best unit in the game so far for obviously not for damage, but for everything else, very good. And like I said, Randy's pretty good as well. So yeah, I would say pull for this banner for sure, 100%. This is definitely a banner to pull for. It has very good value. It has the tr entrusted pendant is very good. Nine out of ten. All right, guys. Thank you guys for much watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.